Hey everybody, this is Zach with On The Water. We're here today to talk about how to best rig a kayak for striper fishing here in New England. We chose the Bonafide SS 127 because it's lightweight to be stealthy, but big enough to handle some of the rougher chop that we fish in. We're gonna start at the bow where we chose to put a Motor Guide XI3 trolling motor. This motor was specifically built for kayak fishing. This motor allows you to not exert too much effort and focus more on landing that striper. When you're trying to cast into a school of pogies or on top of busting fish, worrying about a paddle or pedaling feet can get very distracting. You're not always fishing rough waters. In the beginning of the season, the fish push into back bays and this kayak combined with the engine allows you to feel sturdy enough and stable enough to stand up and start sight fishing for some of these elusive bass. In the middle of the summer, if the fish are on flats, you can trim up this engine with enough space where the propeller won't hit bottom and you can continue to operate to catch those stripers. Something that we run into here in the Northeast while we're chasing stripers is rough water. Heavy current, rips. One of the best things about this kayak is it allows you to not worry about having to fight too hard and exert too much energy to stay with, find, and catch those fish. As we move back down the kayak, we've outfitted this with a Lowrance Elite FS 9-inch display gives you all the advantages when chasing stripers in New England. With charts, navigation, down scan, side scan, 3D sonar and live sight, you'll have no problem seeing what's underneath you. Something unique about New England is the different bottom that you'll be fishing. Sometimes the fish are on rocks, sometimes they're over sand, sometimes they're in deep pockets, and being able to locate them and find them and, and know where you are puts you at an advantage over other anglers. Right next to our electronics, we strategically put a Yak Attack rod holder. This placement is crucial for when trying to land a striper and you need a place to hold, throw the rod and not risk losing it to the ocean. It also allows you to cover lots of water and easily troll with your rod quickly in reach. The seat on the Bonafide SS 127, one of the most comfortable seats out there, easily adjustable for different types of conditions. When fishing for stripers, they're feeding on multiple different baits throughout the year. So having enough tackle to make sure you're in the right position to catch them at the right time is crucial. We're gonna keep most of our baits in this big box, but what's nice about this kayak is it has a sliding tray beneath the seat so you can keep your most fish baits right beneath you for easy access. Next to the seat on both sides, we put two more rod holders. For me, if I'm chasing bass and I make the decision to go further away, I always like to troll a bait on my way there. I like to put these rod holders a little bit behind me so I can place them there, troll a bait, and when I get hit, I, I can easily grab the rod and set the hook. In the summer, Cape Cod boat traffic is outstanding. Having the flag during the day and the light at night will allow you to feel safe all season long. What powers the motor guide is a Relion V12 lithium ion battery. Everybody loves fish picks. A lot of timeless kayak anglers were fishing alone. These GoPro mounts allow you to feel confident that if you catch a huge fish that you want to show your buddies, you'll be able to get a nice photo. To the back left of the kayak, we put in an oar lock. This boat comes with two built in, but I like to keep my oar a little bit further back to ensure that it doesn't get in the way if I'm trying to land a fish or switch my rod from one side to the other. So what makes this kayak set up perfect for anglers up here in the Northeast is we're often alone. This Bonafide, it's lightweight, you can easily take it on and off the top of a car or load it into the bed of a truck. The motor guide weighs 55 pounds, so when you're out on the water, you can feel confident that your boat won't be too heavy and catch too much of a draft. Typically, your transducer is mounted on the hull. And when loading it onto the top of the car and the bed of the hull, you have to be very careful. But one of the greatest things about the Bonafide is that it has a dry pod system where the transducer, batteries inside the box, can completely come out of the kayak. When you're done with the day, you take this out, bring it to your car, and you're ready to throw it on top. No worry about damage. When we put the motor guide into the water, storage is often hard to find in a kayak, but we have a convenient bin right here in the front where I like to keep my rain gear, a couple extra layers. If it's the fall or the spring and the temperature's variable, it's nice to have a place to keep it dry and easily accessible.